under the police. If you want that in porn, it's Jesus Christ! Allow them to desecrate something as important as the Last Supper with transsexuals and little children, pedophilia. There has to be a point you stand up for your beliefs. If you have something in life and you don't stand up for it, it will not last. If you have a house, you don't maintain it, it will fall down. Business, you don't work, it's gone. Relationship, you don't take care of her, she'll leave you. It's the same with religion. If you Christians don't start standing up for things, when they mock you publicly and openly, you'll have no religion left. It doesn't matter, it's a matter of time. Especially now, Romania and all these other countries have opened the border. Millions of people who come here are not Christian. And if you don't say, this is a Christian country and we respect Christianity, they won't respect it either. It's the end. And it's the man's job. It's the job of men to defend things. This is what a man is supposed to do. It's man and woman for a reason, but the man is a fighter. The men have to stand up and fight against these things. Guys, this is supposed to be the most Christian country in Europe. When they try this crap again, I expect to see you all at the next embassy, wherever it is. Have you watched any of the Olympics? I thought that the opening ceremony was a disgrace, actually. I thought it was a disgrace. The mocking of the Last Supper. I thought it was um, a Catholics and Christians across, I thought it across was the a, globe are outraged. I mean, they can do certain things. I thought it was uh, terrible. Can but, you say at the next Olympics, if you're present, there won't be... You'll have enough uh, influence on the organizers that we won't be, you know, insulting Christians. We worldwide. won't be having a Last Supper as portrayed the way they portrayed it the other night. I just think. Hey, what's up, Pente? How you doing? Welcome to a very special episode of Body Driven. We're at an event called California an event called California Will Be Saved. If you look behind me, we're out at the El Capitan Theater, we're out on Hollywood Boulevard, Cahuenga, we're out in the midst of it, gente. Now, you may be asking yourselves, what does Barrio Driven have to do with uh, this preaching, this teaching, this California Will Be Saved? Well, one, you guys already know. If you watch the show, you already know that I'm a man of faith. I ain't a perfect man. I can't walk on water, but you best believe that I bow my head to the name of Jesus. Now, there's one thing that my people respect and believe. Whether you're a homeboy, whether you're a homegirl, whether you're out in the barrio gangbanging, whether you're incarcerated, whether you're political or not political, we all respect God. We all, the homeboys, the homegirls, that is one thing that our people, people that have done serious time, respect God. And I'm going to say this, Santa, the transgender community, not all of them, but many of them, the gay, the lesbian, don't respect what we believe. But yet, my people, who have done a ton of tempo, have done some heinous crimes, they respect God, ain't they? And that, that should say something right there, man. And in fact, as I was walking, as I was walking, somebody was following me. And they said, hey, Vance, Vance, and I want to bring him in here right now. Come on in, can I bring your book, por favor? And introduce yourself. I'm taking this off. This is the microphone. Introduce yourself to, uh, to the people. My name is Jesse Suarez, born and raised in East LA. I'm a Christian man. I'm the co-founder of Jesse's Place Organization and the author of The Little Seed. The book just came out about seven weeks ago and it's going to cause a worldwide revival. This book is about vision and is Jesus kicking down the door and exuding and emanating and just ricocheting his power, his glory, and his name through vision to the whole world beginning right here. So I seen Vince, and I said, Vince, 
here you go. I'm, I'm going to bless you with the little seed because I know he's a man of God. And I know that this book in the right hand, he's a very, very successful man. You are. But when this vision hits you, this is steroids to the spirit, man. And you know what? God, God always honors his, his soldiers, his children, men and women. He honors them. And God has honored me by giving me this little interview. Why? Because I came out here to sow seeds, to plant the book, to give it away for free, and to let people know about Jesus Christ. Is Jesus Christ the hope of glory? And and I'm honored to be here and honored to be in your presence and sharing in this podcast, Barrio Driven. That, no, thank you, Granati. Real quick, you've done some tiempo, man. Yes. This, this gentleman has done, I think, a total of 15 years? I did seven the first time, went back round two, um, did a second trip in Vietnam and um, came back 37 years, 37 years. And I realized that I had no control over my life. And I always knew that Jesus Christ was the answer. It wasn't going to be. And, and you know what? The groups are good, but I knew it wasn't going to be A-A-N-A. I knew that it wasn't going to be this program or that program. I always knew. I just knew that it was going to be Jesus Christ, but I, I'm too young or I still want to mess around. When I went back for 37 years, I realized that I had no control over my life and I surrendered my life to Jesus Christ. And because I humbled myself for 14 and a half years in prison in the county jail, he blessed me with a book that's going to cause a worldwide revival, The Little Seed. And, and if there's one thing that our people, the homeboys, the homegirls, the, our gente, we respect, or no, what is the one thing that we always respect, me? God. You, you, res you respect God. You respect older people. Old school, we, we were taught. We were taught to, you, you help the old people. You help the poor. You help those who can't fend for themselves. And above all, you respect Jesus Christ because one day every knee shall bow and every tongue shall confess that Jesus Christ is the Lord of Lords and the King of Kings. That's right, homie. Hey, gracias, homie. Gracias, homie. I appreciate you, homie. God bless you. God we're bless gonna you, We're going to get out too. here and we're going to catch this event and see uh. Uh, how many people are, you know, show us love and how many people don't. You know what I'm saying? But we'll pray for the ones that don't because, you know. Amen. All right, Hinta, this is a bottle driven. We're hitting the streets. You know what we're out here for, Hente? As you guys already heard, we're out here to lift up God's name. It pains me when I see my Hente, and yeah, I'm talking about my Hente, that we'll see a lot of parades, we'll see a lot of car shows, a lot of low riding this and low riding that. Don't get me wrong, I love our people, and I love, I love the low riders, I love all my culture. But man, you know what, Hente? I love God more. And it pains me that a lot of those events are so packed. And there's hardly anybody here to lift up God's name. Hardly anyone here to lift up God's name. We're going to try to talk to a few people and ask them why they're here. If they're in favor or not in favor, watch your back. How you doing, bro? I, mean, I want to talk to this guy. How you doing, bro? What do you think about this? What do you think about this area? You like it? In for it or not for it? That, that, I guess he don't, he don't talk very much. You know? And there's one thing about Vince Romo. I don't fear much. I've been through a lot of crap. 
Why are you so against this? Talk to me. Talk to me. Let let I everybody know. What? About against this? You against this? I'm not. Are you out of your dare to believe? I'm not against it. Why do you think I'm here? And why are you here, Jesus? Because I love God. Excuse me. Okay, that's good. That's good. That's good. She had a lesbian problem. She thought. Okay. She thought it was. Yeah. Wait a minute. Let me ask you something. Yes. Sorry. You're so exhausted. Do you think lesbians are? Listen, I'm gonna yes. ask it. I'm gonna rephrase it. Do you think lesbianism, which she is, okay, is against the Bible? I do. I do. Well, you're talking to a fucking lesbian. Conversation. But do I think she's a bad person? No. No, I didn't say that at all. And um, I work in te- I work I work in television and film. I work in television. In fact, I did a movie with that dude. That's how I know him. He doesn't like lesbians. And um, I and so sorry, I mean, I just want you to know you're weird. You look familiar. He did. He did. Yeah, yeah. Oh, are you from Australia? You don't look familiar because you're from down under. Are you? What's your name? Andy Dude, I know you. Yes. Look at, let me tell you something. Yes. I need to get my camera out because this is such a beautiful shot with the skylight behind you. With the Chinese there, dude. I'm so perfect. Hey, I'm going to drink that. I'm going to call you soon. I'm not allowed to call. Mexican. Thanks, people. Big baggage, but I do. Oh, yeah. Andy. Oh, I love friends. I'm going to call you. I can't be asked. Take it, take it, take it. Take it. God bless you, my boy. You hear me? God bless you, Andy. You took care of yourself, brother. All right? God bless you, brother. I heard you. You hear me? Yeah, I'm going to call you. We're going to talk. hear me? I did hear you. We're going to talk. Be good, man. It's good to see you, brother. No, you be I am good. Be good, Andy. That was Andy Dick. I did a movie with Andy a few years ago. That's how I know Andy. And um, he's very intoxicated. And as you can see clearly, he needs God. He needs God. As the rest of the world does. Continue on, family. I do believe in God. Because demons are real. There's genuine evil in this world. I've seen it with my own eyes. And there's always an equal and opposite force. If demons are real, then God must be real. Some of the things that are happening in the world today is truly the work of the devil. By extension, God must be real. There's no way it can, the devil can exist without him. And if you want to argue whether the devil exists or not, then you're not taking a very close enough look at the world. The people who are defending the matrix and trying to report its ideas, these people are genuinely, truly evil in their hearts. They don't care about humanity. They don't care about free speech. They're not pro-human. All they care about is trying to enforce ideologies regardless of how it affects people negatively. They're truly full of hate. And that makes them evil people. By extension, God must exist, and God inspires certain men to resist. saw you you were talking to the satanist yes i was trying to talk to him earlier yes and he just kind of like looked at me and he was ignoring me right you know yeah but one thing that i loved about you bro and i love about me i see i'm seeing your face you came from a dark background yeah. you came from a tough background yeah and the people that have been incarcerated the people that have been through the muck and the mire you know they're the, the soldiers man 
You know, there's nothing that can scare us. There's nothing that we're like, oh, we're going to fear this guy or we're going to fear that person. I'm sure, and I don't know his story, but look at this man. God has saved this man. But go ahead, talk to uh, him. Well, well, I was going to say, before I go into that, when I was talking to that man, so the only thing a Satan worshiper, a warlock, a witchcraft, anybody that's in that can do is if they can get you angry, then they can have power over you. If you don't allow them to get you angry, but you walk in the power of the Holy Ghost and you just keep loving on them, eventually God's going to turn their heart. It's only a matter of time before he gets radically saved and changed. And I told him that. But like what they'll do is he tried mocking me, he tried mocking my God, he tried to get me angry because anger is a weakness and Christians that don't know who they are in Christ will be quick to get angry at that instead of stand firm in love. Because we're called to love, even love our enemies. That's what Jesus said. Not just not just you, I'm loving you because you're a Christian, but my enemies. So I see him, I'm gonna love on him even more because he's my enemy. And you know what? People that know me know that I'm real. That's where me, that's a struggle of mine because I do get angry. And I'm going to tell you why I got it, why I've been getting angry. I've gotten angry at the Olympics, which was total mockery to my God because you don't know what God has saved me from. I've gotten mad at the stupid movie Deadpool that put Hugh Jackman on the cross, that, that uh, Ryan Reynolds kept saying, I'm Marvel Jesus, I'm Marvel Jesus, kept mocking our Lord through the whole film. You know, and I'm sick and tired of Disney, of the, and I work in television and film, bro. I work in television. So you know how I use my righteous anger, right? I don't get yeah. physically angry anymore, right? Yeah. Right? When I see the the, the the Olympics and things like that, I get I get excited because I know God's gonna have His way, and I laugh at them and I tell them, you know, like I made a video saying how foolish they were for mocking God because God's gonna have His way, especially if you mock Him, He's gonna come through, and that's what I believe. I believe wholeheartedly that God will change lives, especially pray for those people that mock Him, you know, and in our righteous anger. So they're trying to get to me. So guess what? The more you mock my God on TV. The more I'm going to step outside and pray for people, the more I'm going to go love on people for Christ, the more I'm going to make videos on TikTok and show the love of God and pray for people. That's what I'm going to do. I'm going to stay active for God because the devil's active for the kingdom. You know? Yeah, yeah. Oh, he, he's real active. Yeah. Quick, in, in like a minute or less, tell us your story, brother, about how you came to God. Um, well, actually, I was telling somebody earlier, I was actually homeless and on drugs in these streets in 2011. And then 2014, I just got out of rehab in San Diego. I ran into some friends who I used to run around the streets with who were talking about Jesus now. And then they said, hey, our buddy's having a community event. You should come this weekend. And so I'm like, okay, I know I need a God because that's part of the program. So I went. When I got there, I was full of anxiety. I was full of frustration. Everybody else was happy and free. So finally, I got tired of feeling the way I felt. I asked my buddy, hey, how do I get like you guys? They brought me to the prayer tent. I got prayed for, snotted and all this stuff. And then things left me. And then after that, the people that they came to say got on, a, got on stage, which was uh, Dante the artist from Pop Mob. And while he was performing, I, I came up to the stage and I started dancing around in the park and I felt free for the first time in my life. Wow. And, in the, and in the middle of their performance, he stops and he goes, I feel like Holy Ghost wants us to pray for these four things. And three of the four things he said hit my heart. And I ended up hitting the ground again in the middle of the park and got prayed for and snot and all that stuff. And I got free that day. Wow. So, so it's it. you were demon possessed, basically. You were possessed. Oh, yeah. And, and see, that's the thing. A lot of people don't. No, believe in that or no, it's real. There, there is a devil, and you can get possessed. And you know, it depends on the things that you open yourself to. So I would encourage you. And him, he's a living testimony. That's why this guy's a soldier. That's why he's not afraid to go out to Satanists. That's why he's not afraid to go out to warlocks. That's why he's not afraid to hit these streets because he knows that there's a God who loves them and there's a God who backs them. Hey, God bless you. Hallelujah. Thank you, brother. Much God. Be blessed, brother. Hey, you have the social media? Yeah. What is I'll it? give you my, I'll give you my, oh, that's Results Coach for Life on all platforms. Results Coach for Life. Give me a follow. Give me a follow.